hello everyone welcome back to my channel team crafty i hope you all are doing great so in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful elegant vintage looking ornament box out of a waste plastic material So before starting this tutorial, I'm going to show you my recent collection of silicone mold. Most of them I have purchased from one Instagram account. I'll put the link of their page in the description box so that you can go and check this out. They have amazing collections and the quality is super super good. Two, three silicon molds i have purchased from it's a bit see and amazon.in you can get them all as well i will put all the link of the material list in the description box as usual you can go and check this out Whenever you purchasing silicon mold, make sure that your mold have very much thickness. I I really do prefer this brand of uh, because they have they have super super quality mold and look out this this is the most thick silicon mold I have ever purchased. But I haven't used them recently, so yeah that is it so let's begin to this tutorial using a super super classy looking silicone mold and for this silicone mold i am going to use a uh, clay that is air dry clay from it's a bitsy brand you can also use fabricrill mold it and also recently i have found the way that you can make the make this embellishment with resin and also the hot glue gun i will post some other videos on this topic so let's mix this air dry clay hardener and the resin together this is one is to one so i'm cutting the equal amount i'm going to mix it always remember use talcum powder to you know just avoid the stickiness on your plum Once your clay is ready, I will put some talcum powder in my silicone mold. Make sure you do not have the excess amount of talcum powder in your mold remaining. And then I will fill the mold with my air dry clay and I will wait for 15 to 20 minutes to set it. Then I demold it. But remember one thing that your design shouldn't be 100% cure before remolding because you cannot cannot give you the reshaping as well and if you feel this is very difficult to use air dry clay you can always use hot glue gun that will be the best option for any kind of embellishment making out of this silicone mold For this tutorial, I'm going to use two, three different mold for the border, for some design and some flower as well. You can do it according to your choice and preference. As 
as i do a lot of mixed media art and uh, a lot of vintage artworks that is the reasons i have purchased a lot of variety of silicone mold but it is not necessary that you have to have this all designed for your own purpose you can do it your accordingly All right, my clay part is almost done. Now just decorate this sparkle container. You cannot believe this plastic waste container can be so so much useful and it looks super elegant. So first thing is I'm going to remove the plastic container labeling and I'm going to cover it with my gesso. You can use your homemade gesso as well. If you don't know how you can make this craft supplies in your home with almost zero budget then let me know on the comment sections below so that i can make a different video on to that So before applying any gesso or the coloring, I like to attach my embellishment because they are almost ready. They are 70 to 80% cure and I can reshape it as well. You can use hot glue gun, you can use normal fabricol or the heavy gel medium to touch all the embellishment with your plastic container. You can do the same technique, same experiment with the glass container as well. They look fabulous and they completely changed after your makeover and it will look super super elegant. Now I'm ready with my gesso and I'm going to apply all over the things with the gesso and then I will create another design with texture painting. So the first things I'm going to cover with my lid because I'm going to decoupage it on the top of the, this lid. So I'm going to apply gesso and let it dry completely. So in the meantime, I'm going to apply this sand texturing paste. This is from Itsy Bitsy. If you don't have it, you can also mix some texture paint with sand as I have it. So I'm going to use these things. So I'm going to apply this all over the surface of the side of this container and it will create a beautiful texture.
you can use this brush to reach out the corner of this embellishment and make sure you have completely dried it before applying any kind of gesso or the color on the top of your texture painting So I have attached this, uh, you know, border embellishment with the lead and I'm going to ready with this decoupage napkin paper. This is also a vintage looking decoupage paper that I have chose. As you know that decoupage technique is similar for all the surfaces. You need your surface to be very much white enough and we have to remove the decoupage layer from your decoupage napkin. The the two back layer of your napkin so that your decoupage technique is is looking seamless so i'm going to use this center design as i think this will be perfect for my surface you can choose according to your surface or the area that you are working on Alright, I'm going to use this Deco Magic Decoupage Glue. This is my everyday fav favorite from Itsy Bitsy. As I'm doing working on this surface, this surface is completely white. And I'm going to apply the minimum amount of decoupage glue. And then I will place my decoupage napkin and attach it with a dry brush technique. Just follow the technique that I'm doing ever because this decoupage technique i have done so many times but if you don't know if you are watching me for the first time please do considering subscribing my channel because i need your support guys and you can learn a lot from this channel
okay my air dry clay embellishment and my textured painting is completely dry now so i am ready with my gesso give a nice good coat of gesso and dry it completely I have used my heat guns to you know just speed up the process and now I'm going to apply the color so for the color I'm going to choose this chocolate color from it's a busy chalk paint range these are the best chalk paint I have ever used because they are super super good in quality and they give you really nice chalky finish which is very much vintage and I love the effect so what is the process you have to apply the darkest shade of chocolate for the first layer and then i'm going to highlight each and everything with the lighter shades like for the medium shades you can add some white color with the chocolate color and for the last shades last color we can use the proper white color just going with the process that i'm going to show you over here For highlighting, I am preferring this stencils brush because they are super sturdy and fluffy as well. So it will gives you very nice good finish with the highlighting. I'm happy with the result that is really looking nice and then the similarly I'm going to finish all over my lid as well. To add some shadowing effect I'm going to use this vintage paste or you can use a 
some oil paint with the darkest brown or black color so what you have to do you just apply the oil paint on the inner side of your embellishment with a small size brush and remove the excess amount of oil paint with a with a wet cloth and it will gives you that shadow it looks so natural And lastly, don't forget to highlight your embellishment once again after applying this oil paint. It looks more natural and it looks amazing. I'm super happy with this outcome. And now similarly, are uh, you know, coloring the leads and coloring the decoupage side as well.
I'm going to add this spray paint on the center part or of the container and I'm going to highlight this lead as well okay it looks really really good adding some more highlight and also don't forget to apply a good coat of gloss varnish on the decoupage part and also I have added some shadow as well all right that is it i have finished my art piece like this way and i'm super super happy with the outcome i really like this vintage look of this simple plastic waste material let me know on the comment sections below that how does you feel with this tutorial and if you have any issues if you have any challenges that you feel during this artwork you can let me know on the comment sections below as well and if you create something like this don't forget to share it with my instagram handle Thank you so much for watching till the end and don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you all in my next video till then goodbye take care bye bye